So Logic's got a geek underbelly. This right. is the fun part on a, on a Stark Talk interview. Right. You come into my office at the Hayden Plantam, and you got a geek underbelly, I'm going to find it. Ah. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> somehow, I, don't, I forgot how the subject of the Rubik's Cube came up in my conversation with Logic. You had one on your desk. Oh, man, that could have been it. Yeah, I have a, a, I have a, 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 a Rubik's Cube that exists in a higher dimension than just <laughs> the, the cube. That... Of course you would. <laughs> I'm just saying. Of course you I have one. It's Rubik's to the fourth. Right, well. exactly. This, this he's, one. He's the only one <laughs> with a multidimensional view. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's if you do it wrong, you get sucked <laughs> out of this dimension, never to be seen again. <laughs> We, talk, we, talk, we chatted about creativity and the Rubik's Cube. Let's see what came out of that. I'm definitely, I, I, I will boast and say I'm probably the fastest rapping Rubik's Cube <laughs> in the world. If not the only. If okay. not the only. Uh, my best, my fastest time that I've ever done it in uh, was 23 seconds when I was like obsessed. You can ask my wife. I would like, like just we'd lay down and be watching movies and I'd just be cubing. She'd get really upset. Um, so my fastest is 76 seconds. Wow. But that's... that was that was 25 years ago. <laughs> and when I, it was, I've when never it like, beaten that. When it was like invented? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was early in the day. It was early in the day when it was still kind of like a conversation piece. You know, oh, yeah, what is yeah, that? Yeah. What is it? Why does it do that? Um, and uh, lately, my old age, um, five minutes. I, I, don't, I can't pull but it under five minutes. But it's also fun. Well, so so here, here, here's the, the distinction. I solve the Rubik's Cube after like 80 hours just messing with it. Wow. Okay, but it's about 80 hours. I should have been doing 22 other things, okay? <laughs> I was in graduate school, right? Wow. Trying to get a PhD in astrophysics. Yeah. And I'm sitting there on the couch. Flexing and, on me. And there's like, no, 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 I'm just saying. <laughs> I, no, it took me, took me 80. And so, but I've never actually looked at algorithms for it. Yeah. And I thought to myself, should I? But then I'd be following instructions rather than figuring it out. And so the, the fun thing about being on the frontier of science is there is no answer already derived in the back of the book. Yeah. You are on, you have a foot in what is known, a foot is in what is unknown, and you're, you're, you're it's like, it's like, you, yeah, know, no, you don't completely. know. So would you say that any sort of creative person would just love puzzles in general, as a general thing? I mean, as far as being a rapper, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, w the way that we put together words is very That's much a like a puzzle. Or it's a way... Rubik's Cube itself. Yeah. If you put this word here, some other words got to get bumped and make it work in another way. Absolutely. Or even the way that we DJ and we'll find different segments of songs that match well with one another. You know, go crate digging to find that little sample or that like little crate digging. thing. That's so. good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 